John XXIII was elected pope at the height of the Cold War in a world divided between Soviet and Western blocs and in a rapidly changing society. With the elderly Giuseppe Roncalli, the cardinals expected a calm and uneventful pontificate without any major surprises. Cari figlioli, sento le vostre voci. The world loved him, but society was at its farthest from the church. As a result, he launched the greatest revolution in the modern history of Catholicism, the Second Vatican Council. John XXIII thought a council would bring Christian tradition into the modern world. It could help lessen the impact of secularization, which was moving really fast at that time. Pope John's biggest worry was conveying his message in a clear, concise way to the modern world. The famous Italian word is aggiornamento. To understand the message and legacy of John XXIII, Rome Reports interviewed experts and witnesses from these decisive years. I was working in the French office at the Vatican's Secretariat of State. Sometimes I would go to the council meetings to pass on messages from the Pope. The council had two separate visions that were somewhat extremist, but in the end they brought out the best in each other. The documentary, The Revolution of John XXIII, is now available in three languages. It'll premiere in networks all around the world, just in time for the canonization of the good pope on April 27th. This documentary is presented as an essential tool to understand the magisterium of the last few popes, the current work of Pope Francis, and the future of the Catholic Church. <laughs>